In probability theory, Markov's inequality gives an upper bound for the probability that a non-negative function of a random variable is greater than or equal to some positive constant. It is named after the Russian mathematician Andrei Markov, although it appeared earlier in the work of Pavnouty Chebyshev, and many sources, especially in analysis, refer to it as Chebyshev's inequality or Bianemez inequality. Markov's inequality relate probabilities to expectations, and provide bounds for the cumulative distribution function of a random variable. An example of an application of Markov's inequality is the fact that no more than one-fifth of the population can have more than five times the average income statement. If x is any non-negative integrable random variable and a greater than e, then in the language of measure theory, Markov's inequality states that if is a measure space, f is a measurable extended real-valued function, and epsilon greater than zero, then extended version for monotonically increasing functions if phi is a monotonically increasing function from the non-negative rails to the non-negative rails. X is a random variable, a zero, and phi greater than zero, then proofs. We separate the case in which the measure space is a probability space from the more general case because the probability case is more accessible for the general reader. Proof in the language of probability theory for any event, let be the indicator random variable of, that is, it occurs and otherwise. Using this notation, we have if the event occurs, and if, then, given, which is clear if we consider the two possible values of, if, then, and so, otherwise, we have x a, for which i equals 1 and so i equals or x. Since is a monotonically increasing function, taking expectation of both sides of an inequality cannot reverse it. Therefore now, using linearity of expectations, the left side of this inequality is the same as thus we have and since a greater than zero, we can divide both sides by a. In the language of measure theory we may assume that the function is non-negative, since only its absolute value enters in the equation. Now, consider the real valued function s on x given by then. By the definition of the Lebesgue integral and since, both sides can be divided by obtaining QED. Corollaries. Chebyshev's inequality Chebyshev's inequality uses the variance to bound the probability that a random variable deviates far from the mean. Specifically, for any a greater than zero, here VAR is the variance of x, defined as Chebyshev's inequality follows from Markov's inequality by considering the random variable and the constant for which Markov's inequality reads this. Argument can be summarized. Other corollaries that monotonic result can be demonstrated by the result that, for a non-negative random variable x, the quantile function of x satisfies the proof using let be a self-adjoint matrix valued random variable and a greater than zero, then can be shown in a similar manner.